Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be doing a tutorial on this eye look and it is going to be using the Makeup Revolution and Emily Edits palette. Um, I wanted to basically do a, a very colorful look. Um, it didn't come out as colorful as I wanted it to, so I added a little bit more on the lower lash line. But I basically added a whole bunch of greens, a bunch of purples and blues on my lid and then like I just said I added that pop of color on the lower lash line. I really do love the way that this look turned out. It's really really beautiful and I can't wait for you guys to see it. So if you guys want to see how I got this eye look, just keep on watching. Oh and by the way, I just wanted to let you guys know that I'm not wearing makeup in the video because I like to do my eyes first and then my foundation and my concealer. So I just want to let you guys know before we got into that clip and you're like oh my god she's not wearing anything but it's because I like doing my eyes first and then my makeup. Hope you guys understand. But yeah, now that that is said and done, let's just get into the video. So I have already set my eyelids with the flesh foundation stick and I have also set my eyelids with the first shade green. So today we are aiming for more of a colorful look. I don't have any yellows in this palette so what I'm going to do is be mixing like more neutral colors with darker colors for my crease shade. So I'm going to mix the shade Hobby and Prayer. And what I'm going to do with those two shades is just apply that to my crease. So as I said, I don't really have like a yellow in this palette. So I'm going to try to make it as rainbowy and as colorful as I can. And so like the point of me doing this not only is because today is Pride Day, but also because I don't really have what you can call a rainbow palette. And so I knew that I can create something similar to like a rainbow look with one eyeshadow palette that I have that has a lot of colors in it. It doesn't necessarily have to have every color in the spectrum, but it can have like basically similar colors, if you get what I'm like trying to say. I also have applied tape, and this is a really good trick for people who are beginners, who don't know how to do eyeliner, or who want that perfect cat eye look, because it basically gives it to you and all you really have to do is set whatever colors you want on your eyelid. Okay, so after I have that first shade laid, I'm going to apply the shade all the way to the bottom left. It's more of a like very dark bluish shade. And so I want to concentrate all the darker colors towards the end and then bring all the lighter colors in the middle slash inner corners. So I'm going to apply this shade on a Morphe E14 brush. It's literally like a flat shader brush. And so I'm just going to pack this in the outer corner, not bringing it up all the way in the crease. I just want this shade to mainly be laid down first. And then I'm going to go in and basically just keep packing this shade. Okay, so I have both of those shades laid down. And then I'm going to go in with the shade Fifi, which is like more of a brown or like a purplish brownish shade. And the shade Family, which is a pure purple. So what we can do is just with the same brush, go in with family, sorry, and then go in with Fifi. And then what I'm going to do is apply this towards the middle, but I'm going to connect it with that first shade that we laid down. And this is just so that like all the shades blend in together so see it gave like a very nice gradual effect and believe me we're going to be blending this out so don't think that this is how we are going to leave it and then again i'm going to go in 
and basically press this on on top of that first shade that was laid down so this is what it's looking like right now and then i'm going to go in with the shade side hustle which is like this very nice green shade that same brush apply this on top of this purple okay now with like a more precise slash clean brush i'm going to go in with the shade grateful which is a very 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 light pink i mean pink light green and literally apply this right on top of that side hustle shade i'm going to then apply the shade bell violet which if you can tell is like a very 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 beautiful bluish violet color i'm going to apply this in the inner corner connecting it to that green shade grateful that we just laid down on top of that bell violet shade i'm going to apply the shade cupcake and put this also in the inner corner literally right on top of that shade these are what the shades are looking like right now so i'm going to go in with the first row lanical blending brush that we used and no excess product i'm just going to be blending out the edges because we don't want any of those harsh lines and this is kind of looking a little bit harsh right now so we kind of just want to get rid of that and have all this blend in together nicely if you have to which is what i'm going to do i'm going to grab a little bit of that first shade prayer not hobby and prayer just prayer this time and I'm gonna pop that into the crease to help blend all of this out. All right guys, so I applied the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I applied my NYX Gel Eyeliner and some eyelashes I just had laying around. I also did the rest of my makeup. If you would like to see how I got this look, what I put on my face, what foundation I'm wearing, um, it is a Bobbi Brown foundation. It will be up soon, so I will have that up on my channel, and when it is, it will be linked down below. But um, I just came back to finish up the eyes, so I realized that this isn't as rainbowy as I would have thought it to be. So I want to add like a little bit of red or purple in the lower lash line. So what I'm going to apply first is the bottom shade Lashery. It's like a little pinkish color. I'm going to apply it on the same flat shader brush we used earlier except this time I'm just going to be putting it on the side and just basically start to build up the pigmentation on the lower lash line and then I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing to the other eye and then I'm going to go ahead and grab this beautiful shade right above it and it's called love tons it's kind of like the same shade but a little bit more darker so I'm going to grab that on the same brush and again just start running that on the lower lash line and then this is like pretty much the eye look. It's reddish, purplish on the bottom and then bluish on top. Now for the top of color, I'm going to be mixing this gold shade Top Story and Cupcake on just like a regular defining brush. Wow, okay. 
So that shade in my inner corner is literally just top story. And I think that's how I'm going to leave it. But yeah, this is basically the completed eye look. I thought it was going to be a little bit more rainbowy, but I don't hate the way it looks. It's like very... It's like very nice. There's um, there's like purple, pink, gold running through it. So I really do like it. And I hope that you guys like it as well. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. I very much appreciate you guys watching my channel. If you guys like this type of video or the look, give it a thumbs up. If you guys want to watch anything in particular, don't be afraid. Comment down below. Let me know what it is. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.